Girl Guides set to mark a special occasion. Girl Guides Week is approaching and a number of activities are being planned. To talk about the week and the future goals of the organization are Chief Commissioner Sonia Adderley and Assistant Commissioner Mrs. Elma Garraway. Ladies, welcome to the Morning Edition. Good Thank morning. You, good morning. So Sonia, talk us a little bit about some of the activities uh, planned for Girl Guides Week. Well, Girl Guides Week will begin on the 15th and we are starting with a launch of our new cookies. We are introducing a Bohemian thumbprint that's with gorba jam in the middle and we will be hosting those sales on um, at our headquarters from 10 to about 12 then we will head down to Stapleton school where we'll have a family fun day and this is where all the girls will come down and be inviting their families to be there with us and we call it a dollar day. Everything will be on sale for a dollar. They will be able to do obstacle games and stuff on that Saturday. And then on Sunday, we will parade <laughs> from Super Value Robinson Road to the St. Cecilia's Church in the Grove. Um, this is another way that we work within the community and to make sure that the community is aware that we are still here and we mean nothing but good for our girls. Um, then we have Monday, it's the full week. Monday, we'll have our sunflower frolic, and that's when all our little ones, our five to six year olds, who, which is about oh, mm, maybe 200 or more little girls get together and we'll be by the campsite and they will entertain themselves with games and other activities. Um, our theme is Living Threads with Diversity, Equality, and Inclusion. So they'll be working within that. And on Tuesday, our brownies from the Western and the Eastern Division, both of them will have games and stuff and they will interact with one another from both areas. Wednesday, we are going to work with our guides. They are still planning their event, so I'm not sure exactly where their own will be. But mm -hmm. I know it will be something grand because of the theme that we're using. On Thursday, our rangers, that's our older girls, they are having a rap session. And this session, we are inviting all the other organizations. And we're reaching out, yes, to the boys. We're reaching out to the boys <laughs> to let them know that, hey, we are girls and we, we are confident, but we know we need more to get us along and we need to include everybody as we grow stronger. And we'll be talking about including everybody in um, being aware of inclusion and diversity and being able to spread that theme much better. Now, I know Girl Guides has been around for more than 100 years. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the growth of the organization over the, over the years. Um, there has been a lot of growth, especially since we um, included our sunflowers. We see the little ones growing. We started, well, I shouldn't say we started. Last year, we had about 130 sunflowers. This year, we have way more than that. We are already over 200 registered. Um, our brownies, which is always the largest group. Um, they are continuing to grow, but we are seeing an improvement and a growth in our guides and rangers. We have two new ranger groups that have started, and we are so pleased that they are started, and we have that age group, and that age group is between 16 to 18, well, sorry, 14 to 18. But more importantly, we started a group at Stapleton, and this is how we include everybody. Um, we're just letting the world know that we are not excluding no girls. I know, Mrs. Gary, you've been around the Girl Guys oh, for, for a long. number of years. And I want to <laughs> add about the growth in the Family Islands. Okay. While we um, recognize and empathize, and at this time especially, with the girls who have been displaced in Abaco from Hurricane Dorian, at um, the Patrick J. Bethel School, we had our largest ranger group of some 22 girls. Mm -hmm. But we know um, they're dispersed, and so we think about them. But we want to say good morning to the girls at Forest Heights. Um, we're very pleased with um, their work. And of course, the brownies and the sunflowers in North and South Abaco. Then there are all the girls in Grand Bahama. We're pleased with our two um, sunflower and brownie groups on Cat Island at the, I think both schools are now amalgamated at the old by primary school. 
then we say good morning to the girls in Long Island mm -hmm. and the large numbers in Exuma. And um, we want to say hello to the girls in Inagua and, and we trust that um, Miss Bain and um, Mrs. Malcolm will get them going. And Eleuthera, of course, Spanish Wells, North Eleuthera. Yeah, right. There are new girls coming on stream. Talk to um, us a bit, a bit more about, I guess, the, the impact the organization has had on our young women. I think if there is one organization <laughs> that has impacted the lives of women and consequently families is that of guiding. We're a disciplined organization. We're an organization which try to ensure that our women, our girls, realize firstly that there is duty to God as in our promise, there is service, and there is life by a specific code of ethics. And it's found in the parts, the ten parts of our guide law, where a guide tries her best. That's all we ask of them in their behavior, in their interaction, and especially in their decision making. And the women firsts of this country have basically been girl guides. And this has been characteristic of the women of our nation who have been successful. And so we have models for them. But it couldn't be without leaders. And so we thank the leaders and the commissioners and the administrators and our council. Because, you know, there's the uniform branch, then there is the council, which provides really the financial support to keep the programs going. And talk to us a little bit. I know, you, I know the Girl Guys just recently got a new uh, building, a new headquarters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk to us a little bit about those efforts. Yes, that um, headquarters really is the dream of so many persons, but especially Mrs. Clarice Granger, who ensured that we did significant fundraising. And we were fortunate that the new headquarters committee, corporate persons, former guides, um, even um, former commissioners' families, like Mrs. G.V.E. Higgs and Mrs. Kelly, who's Derwood Knowles' family, all of those who've left us goodly heritage in terms of financial support, banks, corporate citizens, and we were able to raise some $750,000. But it took us so long that the cost of construction, of course, spiraled. And so we were able, and we thanked the government of the Bahamas, of course, for giving us a little more property, but to do what we need to do to implement our new program, we had to make a third story. Well, that requires an elevator. So we have a beautiful shell outside. And so we're asking everybody, especially our former girls, to join hands with us and to help us while we try to help ourselves to complete that building. The elevator alone is 165,000. And so we are looking for donors. But during this guide week, during the month of February, we would wish our people to visit us. Um, the morning when the uniformed girls are selling their cookies and exposing them for the first time, we want people to come by, see what's needed inside and contribute, it, and contribute as best they can. Our architect and project director, Mr. Alvin Roll, who's given all his services free of charge, will certainly want us to finish that building. Because you know, we had an intruder who damaged two of our will build windows, which we must now replace at a cost of $5,000. And so we need to get in it. We need to ensure that this new program we've developed it's a five-star program looking at giving children the skills of competence, of confidence, of being able to speak, of being able to survive, of becoming themselves, and in addition to all the other skills that women and young girls should have to be successful in our society, that building is going to do it with the new program. Okay, so Mrs. Garraway, Mrs. Adderley, thank you ladies so much for joining us here on the Morning Edition and best of luck on Girl Guides Week. Thank you so much. Thank you ladies so thank much. You.